Which of the following agreements would be the most difficult to enforce during a security incident? Is it choice A, service level agreement? Is it choice B, memorandum of agreement? Or is it choice C, memorandum of understanding? Or is it choice D, general data protection regulation? Before we answer, let's go over the choices. A service level agreement is a contract between a customer and a vendor. Say, for example, between your company and a managed security services provider, otherwise known as an MSSP. You have them in charge of your firewall, for example, and if you submit a change request for your firewall, that is a priority one, they have, let's say, for example, 30 minutes to complete the request. And if they don't complete it within 30 minutes, then you can say that your SLA with them was not met and that they should provide you some sort of compensation or discount or something like that. I deal with this every day. Uh, I worked for an MSSSP and this was our daily business, meeting SLAs. Like half my job was just assuring customers work is being done and within time. And sometimes that, that's all the insur assurance they really need, you know what I mean? They want to know that a professional is handling business even if it's done late or not with an SLA. They are really easy to enforce because it's in writing. Always have everything in writing in the corporate world, especially in security. If it's not written down, it never happens. Okay, and a memorandum of, of agreement is sort of the same as a service level agreement, but it's not always about one party providing services to another and the other party paying them for it. An MOA could be an agreement in which two parties agree to work with each other toward a common goal. It is written in a document, and most importantly, it is enforceable by law. It is not difficult to enforce during the course of their work, during the course of their partnership, and if needed, it is not difficult to enforce during a security incident. It's very easy to enforce because it's written down. But now a memorandum of understanding and you know, let, let's cut to the chase. It's just an understanding. It could be written down too, but it is not enforceable by law. You and the company could have an agreement that in case of a disaster or a security incident, your company can use the resources of their company in an emergency basis. But since it's not enforceable, enforceable, am I saying that right? Since it's not enforceable, yeah, there we go. Since it's not, have I been saying enforceable? or is it enforceable? There we go. Let's try this again. But since it's not enforceable, that other ca company can just be like, uh, yeah, we're actually not going to let you do that because it's going to eat up our own resources and we don't really care what happened to your company. I know we said in our memorandum of understanding that we'd help each other out, but we don't really feel like doing that right now. In the CISSP exam world, this is also known as a reciprocal agreement. They are a verbal agreement and cannot be enforced. You could say they are difficult to enforce. <laughs> the correct choice for this certified in cybersecurity exam practice question is choice C. Know the difference between an MOA and an MOU for the CC exam. And the exam, as I will be constantly trying to tell you, is easy, guys. The CCS exam is easy. I took it a long time back when it first came out, and it was easy. If you know the basic terminologies and, and, and the language that's used and definitions, you're going to pass it just fine. And you can put that CC, ISC squared CC designation on your resume, and is it going to guarantee you a job in the security world? Of course not. But is it going to help in some way? Sure. Of, of course it is. It's going to be better than not having it there, right? Um... Just sign up for my course on it, the Sonic Project. Quickly pass it and put it on your resume and go seek a security job in the job market and see what happens. It's a great industry to be in. Not only does it pay a lot of money, it's highly it has a high satisfaction rate. Again, I'm not gonna say it's gonna guarantee you a job, but it's not gonna hurt either. Look, I didn't devote eight months of my life to create a CC exam course if I didn't believe in it now and for our future and your future, I strongly feel is going to be big. And choice D, the GDPR, this isn't an agreement. It's a straight up regulation. It's a European Union law that must be followed by any company doing business with a European citizen or handling European citizen data. It is 100% enforceable 
with some pretty hefty fines if you don't follow it. Okay? All the best on your CC exam. You will do great. I promise. Oh wow, this video is already five minutes long? I thought I was just talking for like a minute. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, see you in the next video.